I am very excited about today's show because we will be sharing a lot of valuable information, information for everyone who rides the Metro bus or Metro rail. I am, have two guests today, two extraordinary ladies who works at the ADA office within Metro, WMATA, Washington Metropolitan Transit Authority. But before I introduce them to you, I'd like for you to know that in the past 10 years, Metro has spent millions of dollars making the system rideable for everyone. So now, look, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the two extraordinary ladies. Lady, they've, they've worked so hard in getting information together about free resources, etc. But look, I'm going to introduce them to you and let them give you the information. First, I have Celine Fair Dalton Cummins, and she's with the ADA office, and her position is Communications Outreach Special Specialist. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. You can tell I'm excited. They have lots of good stuff to tell you. I can't wait to get to that. Which brings me to my second guest, which is Ricky Epstein. And she is the pro a project manager for ADA within Metro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by asking you, what is ADA? Celine, would you like to start? Well, ADA, of course, stands for the Americans with Disabilities Act. And the ADA Programs Office focuses on um, providing services for our customers with disabilities and focuses on making sure that our system, both Metrobus and Metrorail, our fixed route system, are as accessible as they possibly can be for all of our customers with various kinds of disabilities. Um, so all of our initiatives focus on um, those efforts, and we're really glad to be here to give you more information about the program. Oh, yes, and I can't wait <laughs> to get all the information out. So um, what are some of the re resources? I know it's like hundreds because I saw I happened to have, um, before I get you to answer that question, I attended a, uh, a kickoff for Metro is Accessible. Mm -hmm. And I've, oh, things I didn't even imagine, like say for instance, Braille. But look, I'll let you all tell us. So please tell me some of the, um, some of the resources. Would you like to jump in, Ricky? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. um, we are so delighted to be here to share information with your viewers about Metro's newest initiative, which is called the Metro is Accessible Project. And it's an outreach initiative designed to educate all of our customers and all people who might be interested in public transportation. But in particular, we want to share information with people with disabilities in the region who may not yet be aware of how accessible the Metro bus and Metro rail systems are. And through this project, we are really looking at a target audience of educating people with all different kinds of disabilities of all ages within our region, of which there are a great many. And we want to make sure that people are aware of the resources that are available. We want to make sure that people are aware, you know, as you mentioned earlier, Metro has put you know, millions of dollars and a lot of time and person power and, and training um, and wanting to make things as accessible as possible for people in our region with disabilities so that they can take advantage <coughs> of the bus and rail system. And so this outreach project is designed to share that information with people and make them aware of, of what is available. Okay, well, very good. Now, um, Ricky or Celine, how would you get someone started who, say, is in a, in a chair and they're just sitting at home afraid to go out and, you know, say they pick up the numbers, but what would you do if they got enough nerve to call to say, look, I've seen all of this, get me started? Well, one of the, one of the um, programs that we're offering that I'm very excited about is um, we offer Metro system orientations. So if somebody wants to use the system but is a little bit intimidated about trying it for the first time, or perhaps they tried using it in the past and had a bad experience and haven't used it since then, we'd like to kind of say, 
come on, welcome. We're a lot better now. We've got a very accessible system, mm -hmm. and um, and we'd like to bring you on and show you how to use the system. So, for instance, if someone were to contact me and express an interest in a system orientation, I would learn what what they prefer to do, whether they want to use rail, whether they want to use bus, whether they want to use both, some mm -hmm. of the destinations they might commonly like to travel to. And I would go out with them one-on-one -on -one and work through um, a route, for instance, from mm -hmm. their home to their office, from their home to the mall, um, to the movies, wherever they'd like to go, and make mm -hmm. sure that they were fully familiar with and comfortable with using the system, and kind of provide them any tips that I have mm -hmm. as somebody who's very familiar with the system mm -hmm. about how they can best utilize the system and for day-to-day -day use. Okay, excellent. I know I would feel <laughs> I would feel very comfortable, you know, having you actually go out with me and, and show me. I know that I would. Do. Now, what about um, cost to, to um, people with um, dis persons with disabilities? Do they get like a d reduced rate or? Please. Yes, um, for those who are who have disabilities, you can apply for the reduced fare program mm -hmm. for both using Metro Rail and Metro Bus, and um, we can facilitate that and make sure that people get applications. That we can be contacted at our main office, or um, the card office can also provide um, reduced fare applications. Can be sent directly to you, or they can be mm -hmm. picked up at certain locations. And um, and I, I just think it's it's a wonderful thing to have reduced fare. Yes. You can. Get that regular paper ticket reduced mm -hmm. fares similar to the sort of fare cards mm -hmm. that people are used to using and you can also get a reduced fare smart trip card which mm -hmm. is the kind of hard plastic permanent card mm -hmm. that a lot of you know commuters in the area are, are beginning to use yes. finally mm -hmm. and it, I think it's a great technology and it's also a lot more accessible I mean it it, it, it lasts forever um, it's pretty much indestructible and you can load more money on it at all of the the um, the rail stations, oh, so it's a lot yeah. simpler than the reduced fare smart um, paper cards, mm -hmm. which you can only get at certain locations. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great because I know I hate to fumble with change and dollars, and and that that would help Makes on it a easier. lot. Mm -hmm. And and Ricky, um, say for instance there was a, a principal or a school teacher at a school for. Um, persons with disabilities, how would you help them if they wanted to like help some of your students to get out on weekends? What, mm -hmm. How does that? I'm glad you asked because our school program is another really vital component of our mm -hmm. project. We're working with all of the different school systems within our region and providing a wide range of services. As Selen already mentioned, we provide metro system orientations or familiarizations and we have the ability to go out to a school location. We can bring an accessible low floor ramp bus that has our stop announcement system, oh, nice. which are our most accessible buses within our fleet. Mm -hmm. And we can go out and in addition to doing a presentation and sharing information with the students and their mm -hmm. teachers at a school location, we can also provide the opportunity for them to be able to go on the bus, have an opportunity to touch it and feel it and, and really get an experience so that they know where, to, where you put the money and how you notify the bus driver you know, when your stop is coming up and, and, real, and where the priority seating locations are on the bus for yeah. people with disabilities and senior citizens. And we can point out the securement locations for wheelchair users. And uh, you know, we do all of this through the Metro System orientations. Um, we also are, are working with the school system on, on the beginnings of some other projects that I think will help them greatly. Um, one of them is bringing out, um, once students complete their reduced fare applications and have been determined to be eligible, instead mm -hmm. of having to come down to our office in mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., we're able to send out a contract photographer to take the, the students' photos and issue their reduced fare ID cards, which really makes it a lot easier for the students and their parents and teachers. And we're trying to figure out other alternatives and options and things that we can provide to make things easier so that students with disabilities will feel more confident and comfortable using the system and that will make things a little bit easier for them in terms of acquiring the things they need. Oh, I think that's wonderful. Now, is, 